Auntie Maxine Shields. Oh, I'm so glad the asteroid didn't wipe you out with the rest of the dinosaurs. <laughs> Oddly enough, uh, Coco Jumbo is the first queen I ever saw in drag. Last thing I want to know from you. Yeah, who are you going to do on Snatch Game? Hello and welcome to Drag and Dine, a weekly drag race elimination show where we sit down with the eliminated queen from Drag Race Down Under. And today I'm with the lovely Jojo Zaho. Is she the Hi, absolutely. Now, Jojo, sad to see you go. Yes. But glad to see you come in today. Well, I'm so happy to be here. It's BuzzFeed, oh my god. <laughs> and um, you brought in a little snack for us, which I is um, behind our chairs. Let's whip it out. <laughs> This dress is too tight. Oh, no. So we've got chicken twisties. Not sponsored. No, not at all. I mean, if you want to send me a couple boxes, um, twisty, that would be great. <laughs> I've loved these for as long as I can remember. Mm. They're my, my favorite. Like, growing up, we didn't have a lot of money. So like, you know it was a good week when you had twisties in your lunchbox. The little packets? The little ones, yeah. yeah. How would I describe a twisty? It's kind of like, kind of like cheese puffs, but not as fluffy or crushable. <laughs> They're just delicious. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. Let's dive into uh, the entrance look. So yes. first up, Art Simone. Ooh, Art Simone. I love her outfit. Like over the years I've gotten to know her and she gives you no reason to hate her, which makes you want to hate her. She's just <laughs> lovable. Like she's such a bogan wombat and I, I'm here for her. Next up, Maxi Shield. We, we love a deep V and she didn't stand on her chiffon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk through your entrance look. My entrance look. Hated it. No. <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with it because I made it and the plastic is so hard to sew. Mm. And then I had to feed wire in through the bottom of the skirt to get it to sit right. But the story behind my outfit was my drag is it's often quite housewifey. So I wanted to kind of give like a, a housewifey silhouette and then show like the, the hoe underneath while still throwing in um, the indigenous colors. Give her a little homage without having just a flag dress. If like, the first challenge was the sewing challenge, I'd still be there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Coco Jumbo. Oddly enough, uh, Coco Jumbo is the first queen I ever saw in drag. God, she's a delicious snack. I live for her. Like, well not even, a, she's a full on buffet. <laughs> like, I loved her look, like it was, it was simple, but not in a bad way. It was simple, it was clean, and she, she looks so good in purple. And said Queen Ketamine. Ooh, Ketamine. An <laughs> absolute acid trip. Yeah. Like I know it's Ketamine, but acid all the way. But I loved her look. I absolutely adored it. It was, it was very kind of um, Polly Pocket, uh, like Dino Waitress. Mm. And I was here for it. The lovely etc. etc. Yes, the bug queen herself. <laughs> <laughs> when she walked in, I lost it. Like, what I love about her is, is her drag is just, it's her own little bubble. Mm. Like, it's mm. just, whatever she's feeling internally, it's like she puts it externally, mm. but I lived for the cockroach and her broken antler. <laughs> <laughs> or antenna, antler, antenna, one of Either them. Either antler. Yeah. She's a deer now. Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we had Anita Wiglet. Anita Wiglet came out of the womb doing jazz hands. <laughs> Finally, Karen from Finance, the big dog. Yes, I didn't get around to taking her outfit. She stole my land, it's only fair I take her costume. Ah! It is beautiful, like I that nine there. to five moment, mm. like the hat, it's Karen to a T. Like, yeah. I have so much time for that queen. Okay, so this week, the maxi challenge was a get to know you ball. So there was two categories on the yeah. runway. Let's talk about your first look, the born naked look. I know it seems simple, but I like that outfit. Mm. The one, one thing that I would have loved to have put on there was the traditional ceremonial body paint, but I don't quite know it. Uh, when my father passed away, I lost my connection to my culture. So I'm still kind of learning that. Mm. And I didn't feel comfortable putting it on there without kind of earning the right to put it on there. Growing up, I grew up in a very white town and I didn't quite like the fact that I couldn't hide who I was. Like it was the first thing you see is the color of my skin. And then I kind of got through life and then I accepted it. I, I loved it, I embraced who I was. And then plot twist, I like penis. Um, <laughs> some parts of the community, you know, men still need to be men and, and men's business and stuff. And so it's tricky trying to navigate that as well. One of the main reasons that I do drag to show you that, okay, you can have both worlds together, they can be harmonious and as cliche as it sounds, it does get better. And uh, talking about culture, you really showed us everything <laughs> with your second look. So the, for the No Place Like Home runway, yeah. 
I mean, I'm sorry. That was <laughs> iconic. Thank you. Iconic. And you made, and that was the outfit you made yourself, right? Yeah, so I made that myself. I wanted to showcase more than just my hometown. Mm. I wanted to showcase that Australia is my home, the rich indigenous history that we have. Mm. Um, I wanted to show both the, the dark history and, and the, the black future. And, and I'm so glad that I got to show both of them together because you know, even though I did go home first, I'm so happy with what I got to put out there because all within that short space, I got to showcase the core message that I wanted to showcase on my time there in such a short amount of time. Now to end things on a positive note, uh, one of my favorite challenges of all time is the reading challenge. Ooh. So we thought we'd open up the library. Coco Jumbo, you are such a snack whore. If you were a rapper, you'd be a little crumb dump. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Maxine Shields. Oh, I'm so glad the asteroid didn't wipe you out with the rest of the dinosaurs. Ooh. Oh, I need to wiggle it. You need to wiggle it the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing I want to know from you. Yeah. Who are you going to do in Snatch Game? Uh, Ernie Dingo <gasps> was my Snatch Game. Oh. Ernie Dingo. My backup was Kathy Freeman and my uh, lovely third alternate was going to be Pauline Hampton. <laughs> All right, thank you for coming in and doing this with us no, today. Thank it's you been, for having me. It's been a pleasure. Um, <laughs> if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and um, share it. Share it. Keep it posted. Yeah. More queens coming Pour soon, me out. love.